What up, Brawl fanatics? KevinJ2010 here, bringing you everything you need to know about all the characters in Brawl. Last time, we looked at the banana-loving bad boy, Diddy Kong. And this time, we will be looking at a man who fights for his friends, the powerhouse of Brawl, Ike. Let's get started. Ike is a mid to low tier character currently ranked 23rd in Brawl, but although that may mark him as a bad character, he actually is considerably not much less than even with some of the high tier characters. His only bad matchup is with the always dreaded Meta Knight. Ike has a rather low jumping height being the 7th heaviest character in the game, he falls slower than Falco but faster than Ganondorf. He noticeably is very slow on the ground, being ranked 28th in walking speed behind Olimar and DDD and in a three-way tie for 28th slowest runner with Kirby and Squirtle. Heck, Bowser can run faster than him. But Ike shines as being one of, if not the most powerful hitter in Brawl, having kill ranges with some attacks as low as only 50%. Ganondorf can barely compete with that. Let's look at the most powerful attacks in Brawl that Ike has at his disposal. Ike's moves all have varying uses. To use Ike, you need to be weary of the massive startup and cooldown that hinder his attacks. Be aware that I would have said that for just about all of Ike's attacks, so to save time, I'm saying it now, and just be sure to remember it because I don't want to go repeating myself. Ike's jab combo is probably the most deadly jab combo in the game. The final hit causes decent knockback considering it's a jab combo. The first jab can also be used really well for comboing. His forward tilt is a strong killing move, but be careful when using it because not only is timing it hard, but if you don't hit near the end of the blade, the knockback will be minimal. This is known as sweet spotting, by the way. Basically hitting your opponent with the optimum spot of the hitbox. I figured I should clarify that now for later characters whose sweet spots are quite important. His up tilt is great in many situations. The hitbox creates a nice bubble around Ike for good protection, and the attack actually lasts pretty long. And not only is it a good kill move, it's also decent for comboing. His down tilt is a very specialized move. It's hard to find many uses for it, but if timed correctly over an edge, it can spike your opponent straight down for early kills. Ike's dash attack is great for finishing combos, but it should never be used excessively as it's hard to space well and is easy to punish. Now on to smashes, and oh boy, Ike's smash attacks are destruction in a sword. Now I'm sure anyone who has played with Ike knows that a side smash can kill opponents at super low percents. As great as that sounds, be really careful when using it, as although it may seem like a great move, it's a high risk, high reward move. No matter how well you space it, you will always be open after this attack. Ike's down smash is actually kind of disappointing. It is really quick and all, but its use is completely outclassed by his up tilt, since up tilt protects from all angles at once, and this needs to swing forward and back, and the startup is almost the same. Also, this move is really outclassed by Ike's up smash, which is the best of his smashes as the hitbox is gigantic and kills really early, just like side smash. Not as early, but still, pretty early. Not to mention, it's a really safe move when retreating. Just run away and throw in an up smash, and your opponent can easily fall for the bait and take a sword in the face, and if not, you'll be pretty safe. Ike's throws are quite useful in his playstyle. I didn't mention this in the Diddy video, but pummeling is important to do with any character to tack on extra damage, just pressing the attack button while holding your opponent. Ike is lucky to have one of the more powerful pummels dealing 3 damage a hit, and freshens up Ike's other moves, which is really crucial. A move will go stale if used often, so pummeling will keep moves fresh. Oh right, I gotta talk about the throws. Ike's forward throw is good for spacing and sometimes comboing with good reads, but has little to no guaranteed follow-ups. His back throw, on the other hand, does have some guaranteed follow-ups and should be used much more often. His up throw is useless as it can't combo into anything and is completely outclassed by his down throw which, although has limited use, can at least combo much better and spaces a little more nicely. In the air, Ike has some formidable moves at his disposal. His neutral air has amazing combo potential and can be spaced really well, as well as deal decent damage and has a long hitbox. This is probably Ike's best move as it's so safe and you should almost spam it early game as it's so safe. His forward air is great for getting kills and spacing as its huge hitbox and decent speed can be used to knock your opponents back time and time again, but it has to be spaced well to be effective. His back air is a godsend as it's his second fastest attack, to his jab no less, and it has a surprisingly big hitbox and can even break Meta Knight's tornado as it's so fast and the hitbox is so huge. Use in a pinch for good protection and this move is all around amazing. His up air is great for sharking underneath platforms, but be careful as its startup is hard to work with. Yes, I brought it up, but it can kill pretty early. His down air, like most, is your average meteor smash. It has other uses, but nothing to mention really. Ike has many more options at his disposal for those same options anyway. It's almost exclusively a meteor smash. 
And finally, his specials. I've been on moves for a while, haven't I? His neutral special, Eruption, is a hard move to use, but I suggest using it for edge guarding as it has a big hitbox and as Ike is coming down with the sword, he has super armor frames, basically meaning he won't stop the attack until it's done, even if he gets hit. I wouldn't suggest charging it too much though, as fully charged Ike will take 10 damage just from using it. His side special, Quick Draw, is actually pretty bad for recovery as it can be easily taken advantage of, but it is good for movement. If you jump and use it just right, you'll lead into a jab combo very easily. The damage it can do is really negligible in my opinion, but if you're willing to take the risk, go for it. As for his down special, Counter, I would avoid using it as it takes a while to start up, and because of that, you can't use it reactively. You need to hope for an attack rather than wait for it. His up special, Aether, is a good move for recovery and even offensively as it too has super armor frames at the beginning and can deal decent damage. Its primary use is to combat edge guarders. What? No final smash? <sighs> I'll cut to the chase. I'm making these videos to show people what Brawl is like on a competitive level, and in competitive play, there are no items, so no smash balls. Don't be discouraged though, if you are a casual player, use my tips to help you out anyway, they'll still be really beneficial. So, um, yeah, I was... <sighs> I was looking for combos and techs with Ike, and... Ike has very, very few. As mentioned, using the quick draw to have little landing lag is an important technique to learn, and I suggest using it to allow Ike to have faster movement. It's not really a hard technique, in fact, it's probably harder to explain. Just short hop to quick draw, and as long as you're not too high off the ground, you'll land with little lag for an easy jab combo or up tilt or something. I've seen a weird technique where after quick draw you go into a counter and if done right you'll slide a little bit with the counter. I guess it's useful but Ike has so few techniques to talk about. Learn to short hop to back air a lot while retreating. It is virtually untouchable unless your opponent has a projectile like Falco or Wolf. Again, I'll leave a link in the description to a Smashboard thread with some more information on Ike and things to practice. As for combos, Ike has very few true combos that work on all characters. One that works on mostly everyone is jab to up tilt and jab to grab, and depending on the character you can up tilt to neutral air. You can also chain together a lot of neutral airs at low percents, especially if you fast fall correctly, holding down as you fall to fall faster. Down throw to either up tilt, up air, or neutral air depending on the percent works pretty often too, and that's about it for combos. Sorry? Okay, so as you can see, Ike isn't as flashy or combo based as a lot of characters in Brawl. In reality, Ike plays by the basics. You need to be smart to play Ike. Going all out will leave you punishable and your opponents will take advantage of you easily. Proper spacing, baiting, and overall cunning is needed to play Ike. Keep your wits about you, try to set the tempo of the match, and you can dominate the game. If you like raw power and you don't care for crazy hard combos or techniques, Ike is the character for you. He's not the kind of character to be super aggressive, he's built for defense, and when the time is right, killing can be really easy. Be sure to give this a like if you enjoyed it, and subscribe for more. Next time, we'll be looking at the master of mine, the fighting steel type, Lucario.